five, four, command engine start, two, one, ignition. Heading to space. Follow along with us on your screen. We have velocity picking up. We're gaining altitude as New Shepard pierces through the atmosphere. Miko. There it is, that Miko or main engine cutoff. Our vehicle is now coasting at 2,000 miles per hour. Coming up here soon, we'll have the separation of the crew capsule from the booster. And what do we have there, Alice, on the bottom of our screen? We have our zero G indicator. 250,000 feet. You can see it in the center of your screen. Separation is confirmed. The crew capsule is floating in zero G as the New Shepard booster starts its descent back to the landing pad. Just a gorgeous view. There's the B3 engine relight. The landing legs deployed, the West Texas dust in the air. And touchdown. <clears throat> Um, now, while those parachutes are essential in providing a gentle touchdown for that crew capsule, it's also uh, outfitted with a retro thrust system that's going to be at the base of the crew capsule. You'll see that fire here shortly, just moments before touchdown. Yeah, and Alice, when that capsule is just about to land, it's only like one or two miles per hour. So, you know, the combination of the three main parachutes with that retro thrust system you just explained really bring it down for this nice, soft touchdown. You'll see our velocity there, Jackie, is just around 16 miles an hour. That will, like you said, decrease to just one or two miles an hour. Let's take a look. Watch for that cloud of dust. There it is. Our crew capsule is safely on the ground 